Hey everybody, it's W4PGX here in Cantonment, Florida, just outside Pensacola, using a new app that I found for free on the App Store for Android. It's a Samsung S4. I got a little glare from the lamp there, I apologize. And what it is, it is a JT65 app. And it says right there, of course, JT65 Android. And you can see some of the stations coming in. This is 40 meters. I'm using an FT817 Yesu. And signals are coming in pretty strong. I understand I'm very new to JT65. I can receive on the 817, which is primarily why I want this app. But it won't transmit unless I do use this FT100 Delta. Strange enough, they both have the same pin configurations when it comes to the data jack in the back. I can copy 100%, although weak signals are not very well received uh, through this app. And what I'm using as an interface is a Wolfie interface. This is the gentleman that makes the interface for things like Droid PSK, Droid RTTY, and uh, there's a couple others. I think there's an SSTV I've got uh, of his too. And if you notice here on the blue, these are little pots for transmit and receive for the audio. And I've adjusted those back and forth. This goes into the phone. Of course, this is the six pin din jack that goes in the back. It's pretty standard for these uh, Yaesu radios here. And what I wanted to do is do some backpacking with this radio, do JT65 due to its uh, weak signal capabilities. But the problem is I can't transmit. Anybody who can figure this out, uh, this app is brand new. I think it's only like a month old. Uh, please comment below. Let me know because uh, there's some potential to this. This is the only app out there. I noticed that the time is very sensitive and it is a few seconds off from the, if you watch here, we'll watch a cycle. See, see the signal started up about a second or two before the top of the minute. But I am getting, I am copying these stations here. It's, it's, uh, uh, they're 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 coming in. If you get no receive on this, I understand that I've figured out that if you shut the app off, unplug it, turn the app back on, and then plug in the Wolfie interface cord, then you will start to receive stations again. Like I said, this is a new app and it's probably working out some bugs. This Wolfie interface works perfectly for his applications and it should work good for any Android application. Works on my Kindle Fire. Uh, website for this, I mean, you can go to the Kindle App Store, but I'm going down here to, let's see, where is this? This is apkpure.com. Okay, using a Mac Pro book as my computer here. And it's free, so, I mean, if you're not losing anything if you download it. But, again, anybody working with this, uh, comment below. Let me know if you can find out a way to make this work on an 817. Uh, or if I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, I'll say 7-3s. This is W4PGX.